Paul, can you tell us about I Need a Chef? So yeah, um, I Need a Chef is a recruitment company. Um, started off predominantly doing chefs and kitchen staff. And then uh, a couple of years in, we also moved into do floor staff and wait staff and the I Need Event staff as well. Um, again, since then, we've grown very quickly. Um, started off with just sort of myself and another partner, and then since then we've grown to a team of about nine or ten of us in the office now. Um, and two, three years ago we spread to Brisbane and Gold Coast, and then hopefully in the next nine weeks in Sydney as well to get some of that market. We all know that providing staff to the hospitality and events industry is quite demanding. Uh, what were the challenges that were unique to your business when you first started out? Obviously when you start a new business you don't really know what you're sort of doing and what you're looking for. So someone told me about live answering services and I uh, sort of Googled you guys and maybe because you started with A, you came up first and I said, call your office there. And um, yeah, no, it's been well for us since we've had it. Um, like anyone sort of, I think, when you're starting a new business, you kind of want to make it look like you're a little bit bigger than you are and more than a one-man show. With us, we're 24-7, so people are calling at one o'clock in the morning when chefs don't turn up for work and they want to replace those staff. Um, so having that someone it makes our clients feel you know, they're in good hands and not, it's not going to get, they're going to be, uh, they're going to get a response straight away or immediately I guess. So that's what happens with us, it goes to our text and then one of us, whoever's on call, then gets the, the message and, and they call the client. Basically yeah, from day one it helped, it means you're not getting bothered on your mobiles all the time um, and yeah, no, it's just been a positive experience all around. It's hospitality doesn't stop it, yeah, it's, it's, it goes. It goes on, which is, you know, it's good, it's good, but it's also, it's, it's demanding as well, because it, it doesn't stop, you know, so. That's probably, yeah, for me, that was one of the main reasons why we got that live answering service and the one 300 number was just, because we are a 24-7 business. Yeah, I just think it's just, yeah, just the ease of number, obviously, one 300 numbers are easy to remember. Um, you know, you can choose, with auto, you can choose your own numbers, so you can get, make them a bit more catchier and things like that as well, if you like. You know, you guys have got a good selection of numbers, we've got them up in Sydney and also Brisbane as well, and you can, to match them a little bit with certain numbers and things, so it just makes it easier for our customers to remember. So how does your company use the fax to email service? We still have a lot of, not so much clients, but more staff that will still like to sort of fax their information in, um, their time sheets and things like that. Um, it's certainly something that some of our clients and things still use as well, but yeah, we, it, it is a helpful service. And, yeah. But no, all tell, we've just uh, been pretty happy with the service. Again, we think with us, like a business like ours, it's important that because it is 24-7 that we have that um, live answering service. Um, so yeah, just yeah, from day one, really, we haven't had an issue. We haven't had an issue, so we've never felt the need to look around.